SCP-1178, Object Class, Keter. Special Containment Procedures. An area of exclusion has been created around SCP-1178's active area. Any human or vehicle entering this area is to be immediately terminated or destroyed. Security personnel patrolling this area from the ground must maintain a state of radio silence at all times. Aircraft patrolling the area must never move closer than 2 kilometers to SCP-1178's area of exclusion. Observational equipment must predate 1938 and be constantly manned by Foundation personnel. If SCP-1178 shows any signs of movement towards the perimeter, it is to be considered a containment breach and a possible apocalyptic scenario. Loudspeaker units set up around SCP-1178 must constantly create broadcasts of varying nature, including fabricated news reports of limited nuclear war between NATO states that possess nuclear armaments and the Soviet Union and the People's Republic of China. In addition, there are to be reports indicating that the Midwestern United States has been devastated in a retaliatory strike and that the U.S. Army has invaded the Kamchatka Peninsula. False broadcasts indicating troop movement and communications in the Soviet and United States Armed Forces. False civilian broadcasts corresponding to the above events. Television signals for programs broadcast between 1962 and 1981 in the Soviet Union. Advertisements for consumer products such as gas masks, radiation suits, and firearms capable of being used by a child or parent. In the event that SCP-1178 begins to accelerate, all personnel are to initiate the Pretia Protocol. In the event of a Pretia Protocol failure, Overwatch Command is to be set on high alert for the imminent possibility of an end-of-the-world scenario. Description SCP-1178 is a Soviet-era RT-2 intercontinental ballistic missile. NATO reporting name, SS-5, Scheme. Manufactured sometime between 1962 and 1967. SCP-1178 is suspended exactly 1.34 kilometers in the air above Redacted, a former Soviet missile base. SCP-1178's rockets will activate intermittently. However, it has never been observed to move outside of breach events. If any vehicle or mammalian organism approaches Redacted or SCP-1178 within the 200km containment zone, or if a broadcast contrary to standard SCP-1178 broadcast is made in SCP-1178's range, it will begin to slowly accelerate itself from its position above the base. SCP-1178 moves very slowly, with the highest speed ever obtained being an estimated 1.6 km per hour achieved during its initial activation event. SCP-1178's acceleration is to be considered a breach event, as it will cause SCP-1178's secondary effect to initiate. The initiation of the PREDA protocol must be done within 3 minutes of SCP-1178's acceleration in order to be effective. SCP-1178's secondary effect will initiate in the event that the missile is able to accelerate to a speed greater than 2 km per hour. The early nuclear detection systems of any former Soviet state will begin to indicate an imminent nuclear strike. Starting with radar stations, all equipment possessed by these nations will begin indicating a massive nuclear strike coming from any nuclear-capable NATO nation. When these states have gone on alert for the possibility of a nuclear strike, the equipment of any nuclear-capable NATO nation will also begin to indicate an imminent nuclear strike from any country currently affected by SCP-1178. Note that SCP-1178 will only affect the early detection equipment of these countries, and does not affect the actual launch devices or the commanders in charge of said devices. The PREDA protocol calls for sleeper agents within nuclear detection organizations in various NATO and former Soviet states to sabotage the early detection systems of the countries they are working for. This is to create a plausible explanation for why these systems showed false readings. Once this has been achieved, personnel are to ignore or cast doubt on any readings detected by equipment affected by SCP-1178. In the event that one nation launches a nuclear attack, the response systems of the recipient nations are authorized to be disabled by Foundation agents to minimize the damage created by a nuclear strike and avert an XK scenario. Prior to SCP-1178's containment, Several incidents of near-accidental nuclear strikes by world powers were reported to the Foundation, 
by assets integrated into Soviet GRU and the American CIA, leading to the discovery and recognition of SCP-1178 as an anomaly. Object History On Redacted, SCP-1178 was launched, which was reported as a test by the Soviet Union. During the launch, GRU Division P reports that SCP-1178 ceased to accelerate and unexpectedly detonated once it reached a height of 1.33 kilometers. At the same time, early warning nuclear detection equipment in the USSR began to display an imminent nuclear strike by the US. It is not known why the USSR did not retaliate in response to these readings. Approximately six days after the incident occurred, GRU evacuated and then demolished the base establishing a permanent observation center. Recovered records indicate that SCP-1178 was launched at an object present in the atmosphere over Siberia, but the appearance and properties of this object are unknown, as all information on the subject was destroyed in 1991. After an unknown period of time, SCP-1178 began affecting the area around the base, leading to its second activation event. Following this event, the area of exclusion that currently exists around it was established. During the Cuban Missile Crisis, GRU personnel began broadcasting the signals currently used by SCP personnel to contain SCP-1178. It was believed that research with SCP-1178 had led them to create an elaborate post-war hoax in order to keep SCP-1178 pacified. Research notes recovered from the GRU theorized that SCP-1178's only motivation to activate was to irradiate the Earth through nuclear war, and if such a war had already occurred, it would remain inert until another civilization capable of conducting a nuclear war arose.